qualifying. Mowing down the foam blocks. When you hit him at speed, that hurts more than just the blocks. It can hurt the car. Yanni, though, still racing. He'll come up after the next pair. Car. Feature this man, Bill Naves, a match racer by trade, who's just happy to qualify at the national event level. Going to be inducted in the East Coast Drag Racing Hall of Fame, along with former safety safari member Jim Collins. Nice chat with him last night. He's going to set to take on Yanni Lindbergh. Now, granted, Frank Manzo is here, but he's not racing on the track. His car from a year ago is. And that would be that one right there. Yeah. But I, I got bad news for Yanni Lindbergh. He qualified in the top half of the field. And so far in the semifinals, we've got number 11, number 12, and number 16 that have oh, advanced. Oh, wow. I'm well, just sure. saying. Bill Naves comes out of the number 15 qualifying spot. If you believe in trends, Dave, hey, what's trending now at Z-Max Dragway? So much for my friend. 565-7, Yanni Lindbergh takes the next Frank Manzo car where, well, it's pretty used to much going. Another round win, semifinals here, four wides. And how about the identical ETs, Yanni Lindbergh and Andy Bull, but on speed, Yanni will have lane choice in the semifinals as Alcohol Draxer's second round is up next, Charlotte, North Carolina. Yanni Lindbergh, uh, his crew showed up. They'll be dragging the car back to the pits to get ready for the semifinals. It's 65 there. I know you were a little bit disappointed with that, but at least you, you moved on. How is the car running? Yeah, it's running pretty good. I start to get a handle on the track. It's a completely different deal than the European tracks. How so? Uh, like traction-wise, and it's just changed so quick over here. But I started learning it, and I'm pretty satisfied with uh, 65. I've pedaled it once, so. Yeah. At least he won. That's right. He's moving on. Well, if nothing else, he's getting a lot of opportunities to pedal, and he's got a good race car that's able to keep going rounds, and we'll talk more about the differences for track preparation for what he's used to to what we do here in a little bit. Be being able to pedal a car is a skill that's nice to have, but you really don't want to practice it all the time. No, no, you, you, you really don't. Really well. We, we backed it down quite a bit. We heard some parts last night. Uh, we knew why it did it, but... We still wanted to, you know, the round one is more important. Here, let, let, let me let me turn you a little bit for the Ricky Bobby thing. Okay, now, okay, you, you heard some parts, but you got to fix. Yeah, it's it's, it's all good. Uh, the guys worked hard last night. You know, we were up till about 2:30 in the morning, uh, getting everything fixed. But it went down the track. You got the wind light, so on to the next one. As far as winning it, you know, the A fuel cars are running really well, and and it, it'll be tough, but you know, won't be for lack of trying. He is going to try his best, and he is moving on to the semis. He didn't blow up the grill. You got nothing on Jackie. Hit me, Tom Cruise. Hit me, Alan Reinhardt. Hey, it's Andy Bull in the left lane. Yanni Lindbergh in the right. He's made a great weekend out of pedaling that race car, but... He better not pedal it here, because no. if he does, that big red machine will send him back to... Where's he from again? Sweden or Switzerland or Oakland, one of those places. I was getting confused. They're all close yeah. on a planetary scale. Yanni did it again. He pedaled. And he did it again, he won! 61-2 for the five second in front of that one. Holy moly. I'm not 100% sure he pedaled that. Andy Bull ends up with a 563. No. And he's gonna come up short at 258 miles an hour. But Yanni Lindbergh, his first ever final round in NHRA. Let's go back and take a peek and see if indeed there was something going on there. Yep, one little pedal in there. Yep, you're right, good eye. I thought it looked like it was doing a little bucking. With Yanni Lindbergh as uh, he looks over his shoulder to see his competition for the final coming in, Dan Pomponio. And you have lane choice, even despite having to pedal the car a little bit there. Were you worried at all? Uh, yeah, always worried when you have to pedal it. But uh, I was first sort of finish line, and that's the only thing that counts, right? Yeah, so how'd you chase him down? Where'd you find that power? In Sweden. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah, probably from Frank Manzo, too, because that's a Frank Manzo car there, right? Okay, well, that, that clears it up. It wasn't Oakland. Definitely not Oakland. Definitely not Oakland. Lindbergh with the lane choice as he goes after his first national event win. To do that, he'll have to take out Dan Pomponio going after his fourth. From on high, Z-Max Dragway never looked so good. You can see just how beautiful it is here. It is indeed fine to be in Carolina on the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series. This place is spectacular. You know, for all of the travels we do around the country, I run into people time and time again that keep telling me, 
It's on my bucket list. I got to go one time and see the four wides. It's on my bucket list. For anybody that's got that on your bucket list, I agree. Fill your bucket. Come on out here next year. Check out the four wides. With all due respect, it should be on your bucket list ten times. That's after a great place to come watch races. After you come once, it will be. Absolutely. Dan Pomponio, that represents one half of the top alcohol funny car final. He's a three-time national event winner. The driver of the Lindbergh debonair car, the fine age rum machine, that's Yanni Lindbergh. This is his first final. His first final in the United States. Great the NHRA point. competition. He, he comes has from got across the pond in Sweden. A lot of success over there on the European tour. And, well, that's part of what made him come over here and wanted to mix it up here. Obviously, he's got a very good car underneath him. Even though he qualified right in the middle of the field, he has been strong and getting stronger throughout the day. If he doesn't have to pedal, pedal it. Yep. He says the biggest challenge that his team faces is just trying to get used to the track conditions here in the United States, which he says are so much better than what we run on over in Sweden. Get Pomponio close the deal again. It is favorite racetrack here in Gainesville. It will be a first timer. Another oh, another pedal job for Yanni. He doesn't get back into this one. No first time winner today. It's Dan Pomponio. Wasn't pretty. But he's going to get the gold man. You have got to be kidding me. Dan Pomponio won the first round with a 6.58. And then it looked like he had the thing straightened out. 6.12 here. Not sure exactly what happened to Yanni Lindbergh. He's up with a 15 second elapsed time. Could not get back on the throttle. And now we'll have to wait for another day to get that first European alcohol funny car winner. Back to back wins at Gainesville and Charlotte in back to back years for the driver. He has back in black on the front of his car. You think they were going for it? Wow, did that thing rattle the tires. He had to pedal it twice, but hey, on Sunday, and especially in the final round, if you don't see somebody out in front of you, keep pedaling.